Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura from Laura Marie Plans, and today I'm back with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning August the 5th through the 11th in my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Planner using my Caress Press 2024 inserts. And this week I am planning for the week I was at Rehoboth Beach in Delaware with Jake's family, and I'm using the Sunny Days kit from Caress Press. I believe this was our that came out last year or maybe even the year before um there's been lots of recolors and I haven't even used it once I don't think so I was really excited to go ahead and use this and I thought it would be perfect for my week at the beach with Jake's fam so I did go ahead I didn't color block or do anything special this week in terms of like the way I put down my boxes, I do have an extender on Tuesday and Friday. And for my big old foil moment, I use pink and orange and silver tie-dye solid underlays from Planahanna. And then I use the Planahanna SPC collab. I believe this was either their second or third collab. It was from last year, so it's currently not available but I would definitely recommend checking out Hannah Hannah's shop and seeing her current collab with SPC as well as her other foil bundles because they're super usable. I do have a code with Hannah. You can use Laura15 to save 15% off or you can mention me in the notes if there's a treat week or a sale going on and you can still get my freebie. I also have a sampler at SPC that you can also grab or you can get it for free if you're spending $75 or more and all of the those both of those shops not all both of those shops will be featured in this spread but I'm absolutely loving how this pink tie-dye against the light blue looks I did buy this foil bundle last year in light blue and then was like wait a minute what do I use this for so I was very happy that I got to use it this year I definitely wanted it to be like a watery aquatic spread because the foil leans so watery and like beachy. So I feel like this is perfect. I saw lots of people use it with the under the sea art, which I think was would have been beautiful as well and was beautiful when I saw other renditions. But I thought this was just a fun different combo. The pink and orange and silver tie dye with the light blue on top is kind of unexpected and it's kind of subtle, but I'm not using pink and orange tie dye throughout the day by day. I'm I'm just going to be using light blue foil or no foil. I already pulled the stickers um, so I hope it looks good because I know the background is kind of a lot so hopefully we can bring in some of that light blue. Everything else I literally used all foil from the foil bundle. Everything was from the foil bundle. I really really love how this base turned out. I think it looks really really cute. I decided not to color block just to make it easier for pulling stickers and just the craziness of having a beach week spread. I tried to pull from some of my summer and beach stickers that I have a lot of because I just I feel like I used to go to the beach all the time and now I don't go as much. I don't know. I'm not really a beach girly if I'm being honest. I really only go because Oliver has the time of his life on the beach and loves to swim. I don't get in the water or anything and especially the water in Delaware was freezing. It's been so freaking hot and the water was so cold. It was actually like warm in Florida. JK, that's a lie. I never went to the beach in Florida, but my parents said it was warm and the pool was so warm there. So it's just crazy the difference. But um, yeah, we had a great week at the beach. I did vlog that week. I also vlogged the leading up to it. I vlogged during it. I had a haul go up, etc. So y'all can check out all those videos. I'll try and link them down below if they're already uploaded. If not, just stay tuned for them. Um, but yeah, I am going to hop into this day by day. Okay, so hopping into this day by day, like I said, I pulled from the foil bundle as well as I had an extra script sheet. I had two extra script sheets, actually one in her new font 15 and one in a old mix sheet that I really couldn't pull from for this particular trip. Um, but yeah, it should be easy. My mind is so in color blocking mode lately. I feel like I'm like, I have to shift 
my mode back, but it should be pretty easy to get this spread done, let's hope. Um, okay, so on Monday, we went to hang out with my in-laws. Basically, the beach we were staying at, one of Jake's aunts, she's not like by blood his aunt, but like you might as well call her his aunt because that's what she is. Um, she has a house on the beach on like a private section. It's actually like a mile from Joe Biden's house, fun fact. And we did see his security boat and stuff there. It was very interesting um because i don't know what that man's up to currently but um she has a house on the water and she got houses for like two other houses for everyone else so we kind of just like split a house with another couple um and had a weekend at the beach because there's like a bunch of kids i don't know if i explained that very well but basically it's like four families kids and so there's a lot of kids so there was a house for like everyone and our house was dog friendly so we got to bring ollie which was a really really fun so i did a lot of hanging out with my in-laws this week i had a lot of anxiety because i just struggle with my relationship with my in-laws sometimes if i'm being honest like it's just it'd be it'd be hard um so hung out with the in-laws. We took Ollie to the beach. Like I said, I did try and pull out from like these summer doodles um, that I had in my collection from like Once More With Love and Coffee Monsters Co. and stuff. Um, we went to the boardwalk, which we actually went to the boardwalk like every single day. And I only bought one sticker in my whole script sheet on it. But we literally went there every day. So I ended up marking it different ways. But... We did end up going to the boardwalk every single day because it was a really, 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 really nice boardwalk. Not going to lie. Um, we then went to a place called Salty Paws, which is dog ice cream. It's like a dog ice cream bar and you can get your dog like they have so many flavors like dozens of flavors I feel like um so you can get your dog ice cream and toppings and all that so we got we went there several times this week I honestly don't know if I marked it every single week but or single day but we did go quite a lot um and then we got grottos for dinner this night I think we got it the night before too but Grotto's is just super, super good. It is, I don't know if it's East Coast pizza. I never actually ended up Googling it. So let me know if y'all know down below. But it's like swirly pizza with like the sauce and the cheese. And it's just really, really, really good. So yeah, love Grotto's. It's like essential um, East Coast beach pizza. I feel like it's got to be East Coast because I really don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but who knows? So we went to the ice cream store with Oliver and he got some ice cream and then we got some pizza. I used these pizza floaties because I felt like that would work for getting pizza this week because they were on the summer sheet and they're pizza y. So I felt like that would work. I don't know. And then I was in my feelings this night because I was just anxious and stressed. I'm just you know getting through hanging out with my in-laws so um that was my monday on tuesday we went to home goods with ollie we were gonna try and go we ended up going to the outlets later but we were trying to go to the outlets um to go shop <laughs> obviously um but it was really hard to leave ollie we basically never left him at our rental house alone um because like no one else was like really there to take care of him obviously like people were doing their own thing so basically we ended up when we did go to the outlets um which it was later on in the week we just took him to my mother where my mother-in-law was staying at the beach house um on the beach 
basically we were all staying in different places and it was very, 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 very confusing. Anyways, we took Ollie to Home Goods to get out of the house and then we took him to PetSmart and there was cages of birds like on the floor. Usually they're up high so he can't see them, but there was cages of birds and he was loving it. He loves birds, which is so funny to me because I, ah, I used to have, well, I didn't, my sister technically did, but what's hers was mine because we were siblings growing up. Um, what the hell? But yeah, basically, 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 Ollie went and was like obsessed with the birds at the PetSmart. It was really cute. Okay, I don't know what happened to that sticker. Took a little tragedy and lost some of its stickiness. But we did go to Home Goods. If you have any questions where any of these stickers are from, this is one of the weeks where I do a terrible job at explaining because. It's a travel week, so I have just a lot of plans going on. Okay, that whole thing. I hate when I do that. Okay, I'm just grabbing a new script for that because that other one, like, disappeared. I don't really understand when it does that, so I just grab a new script because I don't really understand. But PetSmart. And then I was sad. I was in my feels. This blue doesn't really match. But oh well. It's already down. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure all of that is down because I'm like, is it sticking or not? And then we went to the boardwalk again. So I will just mark that in this. And then we went on a little date night. We got a dinner. We found dinner at a place on a patio. So we took Ollie out and we just ate together at a restaurant it was very very fun it was really good food too i got like fish tacos it was so freaking good fish at the beach just hits different um and then we took ollie back to salty paws the ice cream store okay so for hanging out with Jake and Ollie on the boardwalk, I have this like little seashell Maru. And then date night with Ollie and Jake. Went at went to a cute little restaurant on a patio. And then Oliver did get some more ice cream this is technically like food not ice cream but you get the freaking idea he's spoiled rotten okay this looks really good with the light blue on top not gonna lie um and then after i got corbros i had gotten corbros when we first got there the first day i freaking love love corbros it is so freaking good um so Put that in here for getting core bros and then i had a call with my mom because i was annoyed and peeved and so when i'm annoyed and peeved i just call my mom right away so i called her and then i had a youtube binge this night basically the tv at the place we were staying at like we couldn't figure out how to turn it on for like the first until thursday basically which we left Friday, so I was really struggling with my mental health, I think, because I literally had, like, nothing to do. I didn't bring my um laptop to edit videos, which I think I should have also done. I just didn't expect so much downtime because when we went to Florida, I had, like, no downtime, but it was just a different trip. And, yeah, I was just very, 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 very bored. And when I'm bored, I literally go crazy because I need... Look at this cute little turtle. 
I need to like have something to do at all times. I feel like I just get really bad zoomies. So I was bored and in my feelings at this point at the beach. On Wednesday, I was in another <laughs> bad mood. Are we surprised? So I will put that at the top. I was a grumpy little girly. And then we went to the beach with Oliver. So I will mark that. And then we went to the boardwalk again. So I will mark that with this. Okay, so for being in a mood, have this sticker from Once More With Love. I love me a good colorful spread because I can use some really niche stickers that I usually can't because they're the spread isn't bright enough. So I love me a good bright spread. Oops, I meant to. Put that here for the boardwalk. OK. Beach with Ollie. Ollie swims. He loves the beach so much. And then just hung out with Jake and Ollie on the boardwalk. Jake, Laura, Ollie is J-Lo, if you're curious. Um, and then we went to Popeye's this night because we were hungry. And we didn't have anything to eat. And basically, the guy at Popeye's just, like, sized us with literally everything we went at like 9 55 or something is right before they were closing and so he gave us so much he gave us biscuits he gave us like all the flavored biscuits he gave us um like rice or i don't freaking know what it was like rice and beans he gave us mac and cheese he gave us literally like every single side they have he gave it to us and it was just, it was a lot of food. We ended up not really eating it all, to be honest. But it was really, really nice at the time because I was, like, going through it. And I was like, oh, there are nice people out here. <laughs> um, But, yeah, so we had a lot, a lot of Popeyes this day. um, Which is actually kind of nice because, in my opinion, Popeyes is kind of expensive. At least where we live compared to, like, other fast foods. It's like way more pricier. So I was like, wow, I finally got a $30 meal worth of food for a good deal because he gave us all those extras. I did cuddle Oliver this night because I was just like in a freaking mood. Those are two different scripts, but I'm just stacking them. And then I finally watched TV. This is the night we got the TV to work. And I was feeling so much better once we got the TV to work. I literally just think I cannot be like in my own thoughts without a distraction or I will go crazy apparently. Okay, moving along to Thursday. On Thursday, I was a little bit more busy. I went shopping at the outlets first and foremost and then um my mother-in-law watched ollie this day and then after i got back i went shopping with her and her friends basically um how do i mark this i think i'm gonna mark sunshine octopus which is the store we went to and it was iconic and amazing in every single way um Let's do, sorry, give me a second. Let's do this for Sunshine Octopus. I did have a haul go live if you are curious on my travels and or what I got. You can check that video out. Hung out, we went and got ice cream, me and my mother-in-law and her friends, basically all the like moms 
went and got ice cream except me i'm not a mom but it was like all the older ladies um they knew i was like going through it on the trip so they like took me out to get some tlc so i went shopping with jake at the outlets in the morning and then we went to a really popular hippie store called sunshine octopus so i had to use that octopus sticker of course and then i got ice cream with my mother-in-law slash there was like other people there but it was bonding time with my mother-in-law and then i took ollie to the beach Jake stayed back at the house with Oliver while I went and hung out with the moms. Sunshine Octopus, really, really, really fun store. Um, And then I just hung out with my in-laws all night. I was finally feeling a little bit better. My anxiety lessened. I was just so anxious on this trip. I just, I'm like very anxious around my in-laws. It's like a long story, but there's just, it's been, it's been a journey to get to where we are now. So just glad it's a healing process. Hung out with my in-laws. We got Grotto's again, the pizza place that Jake really, really, really likes. It's basically Jake who like wants it all the time. And I'm just like, sure. Okay. Um, and then our BFF came over. He came over. He had, I'm going to have to use another pattern, which I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. He was seeing a concert and his cousin came too. And she's really nice. She's also our age. But he was, um, he was at a concert um, by where we were and like didn't have a place to stay. So he came and crashed at the house we had cause we had lots of extra room there. Um, so he, we got to hang out with him for like 24 hours. He slept over this night and then we hung out at the beach on Friday before we went home. Okay, so I'm just gonna write in Grotto's, which is the pizza place. And with Alex, our friend, his cousin came too, but I'm not going to put her name in. Because what if she like sees this and then she's like, that's weird. Okay, on Friday, we went to breakfast at back to the beach house. And we basically said goodbyes to everyone. And yeah, everyone, a lot of people had left like already, so... We were like the last few ones there. Um, but I think I'm just going to honestly put that in a little thing. Because I'm running out of labels. So we said our goodbyes. And then we went to the boardwalk with our friend. So I'll mark that. Went to the boardwalk. And then Ollie got more salty paws. He got yet again more ice cream. Um, like really running out of things. I don't know what to use. Um, I guess I'll use another label for that. Whatever. He got more ice cream, and then we went shopping some more along the boardwalk um it was nice to have basically all week i was like shopping by myself because jake was standing outside the store with oliver except for when we went to the outlets the day before this um and my mother-in-law watched ollie but pretty much every single time i went shopping at the boardwalk like i was going in by myself so i was very happy to have a companion in um Alex, our friend's cousin, because she's a girl, and so she was just, like, shopping. And we were buying stuff and bonding. It was a great old time. So, yeah, we got Salty Paws, went more shopping. Do I not have another with Oliver? 
Um, I'll put in JLo for the boardwalk. We never did mini golf either, which I got scripts for, but we never. Say goodbyes. And then this is just salty paws, which I guess I can write. Unless I have a with Oliver. I don't think I have an extra. Oh, wait. I might have a with my love. I'm sorry, guys. I just hate my handwriting. So I'm like trying to avoid it at all costs. I have a with my love. I'm going to use that from the foil bundle. Okay. Cutie. Moving right along. This is my long day. Um, We packed, tidied up. We cleaned. It was quite a bit to clean. We kind of got... I won't, I'm not even gonna go into it on here, but I feel like we got kind of bamboozled into cleaning the whole house for everyone who came that weekend and it was not very fun, me and Jake. Um, but yeah, so we cleaned and then Jake and I went to the Friendly's drive-thru um, because I freaking love Friendly's and they had just opened one there. So we definitely wanted to hit that before we hit the road. And then we drove home to Virginia. Okay, so for cleaning and packing, I have this suitcase and a little clean script from the foil bundle. I also went to friendlies like I said I love friendlies if you have a friendlies near you I am so freaking jealous go on my honor because it's just amazing I love friendlies friendlies and then we drove and then um I came home and I unpacked because I don't know what is wrong with me, but I was like, I need to unpack. So I came home, I unpacked some. I didn't unpack everything. Like, let's be real. I did not unpack everything, but I unpacked some things. Um, we went to the farmer's market too, which I should have marked, but I didn't. But we did go to the farmer's market on the way home. Um, and we, I had to like put away all that stuff because we got kind of a lot of stuff from the farmer's market. So, um, yes. And then let's do one of these. Let's do the pink. Um, I had poke and boba. And whenever I come home from travel, I don't know, like probably other Asian people can relate to this. I don't know if other people of color can. I'm sure white people can't. But the, like, need to have Asian food is, like, so strong when I'm out. Like, we had Asian food one night. Um, I forget what night it was. I think it was this night, Thursday. And it was so bad. It was so disgustingly bad. So I was, like, craving my poke. I always crave salmon poke and boba when I get home so I thought this sticker with the fish was super cute it's from the same once more with love sampler I've been pulling all these like critters from but I thought that was very very cute I'm gonna cut this I haven't cut anything all spread here we go um but yeah I just like crave let me know if you're not Asian or if you are Asian like what do you crave or if you're not Asian what you crave like when you're out, even if you are white, like, do you crave Asian food or something? Or is that just a me thing? Who really knows? And then I did do some planning this night. Gotta catch up on my planner. Super cute. I feel like this blue really matches this blue well. And it was so hard for me to find a kit that matched this blue well, if I'm being honest. This light blue. But this blue matches. Okay. Moving right along on Saturday, I watched, was it like the closing ceremonies of the Olympics? I <laughs> truly don't know. I truly don't know. I'm very sorry if that offends you. I don't know. I don't pay attention. I was terrible about watching the Olympics this year for, I don't know why. I just, I went to the beach and I was just going through it mentally. 
physically everything just exhausted. So, um, took, to, uh, sorry, I was watching the Olympics. I took Oliver on a walk and then I did just catch up on Big Brother this day because I was behind. So I needed to catch up. I had no way of watching it at my um, Airbnb house because the streaming there was weird. So this blue again does not match, but here we are using it. Took Oliver on a nice long walk. He really missed our neighborhood, which was cute. So he was like taking in all the smells. Caught up with some big brother. Um, okay, I'm going to write in Olympics. Okay, and then moving right along, I edited. Okay, I just didn't pull my stickers, I guess, for Sunday. So we're going to have to do that together. I really don't know why they're not here, but they're not. Um, anyways, I edited my vlog. So I will put that in here. And then I played Dress to Impress. I downloaded it this day and I have been addicted ever since. It's been like a full on week. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Dress to Impress addict. Let me know if you guys have been playing down below. It's basically like a Roblox game, which Roblox is literally for children. Yes, but it's such a nostalgic game. Like if you grew up playing those 2010 like Disney I don't know. It's just, it's so nostalgic. It's so great. I love it so much. So I shouldn't have used that color. I don't know what I'm going to do on Sunday. I literally have no boxes left. Like it's actually kind of scary. So we might have to like nix things or make things small. But yes, I've been obsessed with playing Dress to Impress. I feel like I've been playing like literally every day. So next week in my planner is going to be fun to mark that every freaking day. Because I definitely don't have scripts for that. Because whoever predicted me becoming addicted to a Roblox game, not I. Um, but yeah, I love Dress to Impress. Let me know if you guys have played down below. Also, it's so funny because in the servers, like it's clearly kids like... I just did one, like literally just did one, like before I filmed this. And the theme was um, 1990s. And these kids were like, yeah, I didn't know. Like, I don't know what this theme means. And I'm like, what do you mean you don't know what it means? Like, if there's a 1950s theme, I'm out there dressed in like the 1950s. Like, I know what that means. How do you not even know what freaking 1990s is like way to make me feel like the oldest person ever okay sunday is gonna be a journey so honestly if you want to click out of the studio now i don't blame you i slept in like why didn't i pull any of this lord who knows okay so i slept in um oh i went to my parents this day which was fun and I was reunited with the one, the only Mochi Bear 20. Um, that's not her Instagram name anymore, but it used to be her Instagram name. Now it's Mochi underscore the teddy bear because she got age banned. Anyways, okay. Went to my uh parents' house. Um, I guess we'll put one of these, but I'm going to cut it a little just so that I have a little bit of room. So I went to my parents' house and I was reunited with the one and only Mochi. that in here I'm gonna finish putting down these stickers and then pull in the stickers after because this is gonna stress me out I then had a nice little family din din 
Um, see, there's like two of these oranges left, which is kind of not the move. So let's put one of them here. Family dinner. And then I play dress to impress with Jake. And then I cuddled him. I feel like I should just really put, I think I might just put, because mm, it's like the same as there. Guys, I'm so stuck. I really don't know what to do. Okay, we can put cuddle. Let's put cuddle in a little thing. That'll make it easier. Let's put cuddle in a little thing. And then, okay, do, 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 do. And then we can put dress to impress in a big thing in the middle. And we will be done. I'm just going to cut it. Uh, I don't want to cut it. Will this hit? Good enough for me. I'm moving this one down, and that's good enough for me. Because this is planner struggles. Okay. I don't know what's going on there, but we're just going to ignore it. So, like I said, I slipped in. So, let's use the bed icon for that. Slept in. I didn't even mark any of these days that I slept in. That's crazy. Slept in, finally. Okay, and then went to my parents. So I'm going to pull a sticker out for that. I'm just going to pull out this scribbler from SPC. And then I will pull out a mom and dad script. Or mom and dad's maybe. Mom and dad's. If I can find it. Okay, this one's from Cardi Plans. I'm gonna cut it actually, just so it fills up that box a little bit nicer. With the rents, and then I was reunited with Mojo. I really didn't have a lot to mark this day. I basically just went to my parents' house and hung out with them. My cousin came back from Alaska which is really cool. And he like brought back salmon that was fresh. It was like the freshest salmon I've ever had in my life. So he came over to my parents' house with my aunt and my grandfather. So we had a little family dinner and he made the salmon and it was really, really good. It was really fresh. Reunited with Mochi, had a little fam fam dinner time. Like I said, we had some fresh old salmon. So let's do this paper shire for family dinner. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry if this is like slowly becoming the worst plan with me you've ever watched in your life. But here we are. This is real life with fam. I then played more Dress to Impress. I also didn't pull any doodles this week out, if you didn't notice, which is sometimes kind of more of a struggle. But I really like these um, stickers I used to mark Dress to Impress. I thought they were very funny. Um, let's do a yellow one. Because the yellow kind of matches. Kind of. And then I just cuddled Jake. So I'm literally just going to use a heart for that. Because I give up. I give up. Is there a cuddle script? Or did I already use it? Ugh. I hate myself. Oh no, there's one. Okay. I was like, why did I already use it? Cuddle. Okay, and then I'm just going to write in dress to impress, which get ready for my next plan with me. It's going to be on like every single day. But that is it for 
that portion of the plan with me. All right, guys, this is how the spread looks in full. I'm absolutely loving the subtle pink and orange tie-dye in the background with the light blue bubbles just like seeping through, especially on the headers. It looks really nice and the overlays and the scripts. Like I just love the light blue on top of it. I feel like especially on the orange, it's such a nice contrast. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this spread down below. If you guys use this kit, what did you pair it with? I had a great old time at the beach. I know I had like some mental health stuff going on here, but once I got the TV working, I was good to go. Um, so that is it for this plan with me. You guys would not believe what time it is right now. It's literally 2.30 a.m. and I'm filming this. But I have this leftover. So I have the uh, foil, which I'll probably keep, honestly, just because it's light blue. It's pretty generic. I might de-stash this. But honestly, maybe not. Because, like, light blue bubbles are pretty usable again in the future. So that's all the foil I have. I will probably be keeping in my foil collection. And then for the kit, I did use a lot of it. I'm very happy I didn't color block. I think it would have made it a lot harder, honestly. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like it was. It would be true. It also doesn't help that I don't like flags or like half of the things that come in these kits, but you know, it is what it is. So that is that for Sunny Days by Caress Press. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my planner Instagram to see up close pictures and videos and reels of this spread. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.